Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, so as you know, I picked up Jordan from the airport a couple nights ago and this guy and we and uh, he's going to hang out here for a few days. Uh, both of them are going to hang out here for a few days and as you probably also know, Jordan had his 100,000th subscriber. Uh, well, today, from my perspective, a few days ago from yours, and I told him when he hit 100,000 subscribers, we were going to go out and have dinner, and I was going to buy him dinner. So tonight, we are going to go to a place that uh, I took you to a while ago. Uh, you may recall when we finally got rid of the uh, last pod, I came home that night. I was really exhausted. I was really dehydrated. I was really hungry, and I didn't feel like cooking anything. And I went to the Texas Roadhouse. House. And tonight we are going to take Jordan to the Texas Roadhouse one more time and we're going to actually do an official restaurant vlog. So let's go to the Texas Roadhouse. What do you think, Jock? Does that sound like a plan? Do you get to come? No, I don't. All right. Well, sorry. Let's go to the Texas Roadhouse. All right, so those of you who remember when I did my uh, uh, last pod unload, remember that I came home after that and I was just exhausted and uh, decided I wanted to go out for dinner. I didn't actually make this a real vlog, uh, just kind of covered the place a little bit. This is a Texas Roadhouse, and this is where I've decided I'm going to take Jordan to uh, get some dinner tonight uh, in celebration of his 100,000 subscribers. Um, now place looks like I it's really- I got 100,000 subscribers? Nobody told me! Okay. So we're actually hoping we're gonna be able to get into this place because uh, the parking lot is packed. You remember it was packed last time. And uh, and uh, you know, we're and we're looking at it and it's, it's even worse now. And there's like a line of people going out the door. So we're actually hoping that we're actually gonna be able to get in here. So let's try. Now you know what I've said in the past about a packed restaurant and a packed parking lot. Yeah, this place is full to the brim. We couldn't even find parking in front. We had to actually go in back, back there to find a place to park. So yeah, this better be good. Uh, we found out it's gonna be 35 to 40 minutes and we've elected to wait. We were just trying to calculate the odds of this thing falling on me. We figured it would be pretty low. So we were admiring all of the caricatures of the country artists up here. I gotta admit, I'm not really the country star, but it's still kind of cool to look at it. Over and I'll follow you, telling you who it is. Okay, that's probably a good idea. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Okay, there you go. So we know who that is. And look, we got an autograph record from Willie Nelson. To all my friends at the Texas Roadhouse, enjoy Willie Nelson. And I got a couple pictures down here. Yeah, I wonder if he eats here. It wouldn't surprise us. Abbott is just down the road here a little bit. And I just feel our buzzer going off here, so I think dinner's ready, so let's go. All right, that could have been a lot worse. Uh, we were expecting 35 to 40 minutes. We were in here in about 25, so uh, I was over there looking at that Willie Nelson record, and uh, the uh, alarm went off when I was, it went in my pocket. I felt like I got electrocuted, so yeah, we're at the table already, so. So last time I came here, I uh, just was, I just finished unloading the pod, and I was all dehydrated, so I didn't have any alcohol. So I decided I was gonna have a beer tonight. They got Samuel Adams, their winter lager. They say it tastes like Christmas. That seems appropriate, because I guess we're gonna go home and watch a Christmas story tonight. So we'll see if this is any good. Now I gotta admit, usually when I do a restaurant vlog, I show the menu, show what I'm gonna order, show it when it arrives, and uh, give a review afterwards. Truth is, I was so hungry, we didn't do any of that. So yeah, Jordan had a brisket. Right? Yeah, I got the, the uh, brisket pork and mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes and, corn. and corn and the bread. See, Breck, you see now why I vlog so much alone because you get distracted and you forget to do stuff. When that's, you're out prob with other people. that's probably what it is. And I had a, a, a steak and a, and ribs and a baked potato and, and a bucket of nuts. And a bucket of nuts. And we had a side of uh, deep, fried deep fried pickles. Those were really good. Yeah, the. 
And we made a friend. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have him at the next meal. So as usual, I was a good boy and emptied my plate. Um, this is probably the first meal I've had probably in quite a while that what I would call a Texas style meal, Texas size meal. Um, and it was very good. And this is often the case, every time I start recording, the waitress comes to do something. I wanted to show Jordan's plate, because Jordan wasn't a good boy, and he didn't finish up his plate. It was a lot of food. It was a lot of food, but yeah, I... I'm not I, from Texas, I can't do that. I, I'm not trained like you are, Greg. You're the professional Waco eater now. What did you think, though? Was your food good? Yeah, the food was great. It was worth the wait. It yeah. Was. Yeah, we and they just played Randy and Travis forever and ever, amen. I'm happy. How can you argue with that? All right, that's it. We have filled ourselves to the brim. I'm about to burst. How about you? You about to burst? Oh! <laughs> yeah. All right, so on that note, I think that's all I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse.